I've been a throw up the sex in a I got this from Target and it smells really good. It's almost like champagne toast um, from Bath and Body Works, except this was $10. If you're watching this video, get yourself a drink. I got some peppermint tea in my mug. It's very cold. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Egypt. If you hear the birds, not even the birds, the bugs, I'm gonna close the window. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm just gonna hope my camera's doing its job and has me in focus. But today I'm going to be doing the thrift haul that goes along with the vlog that I posted, which is my last video. In that video, I did a vlog of me thrift shopping at Goodwill Bins and also at the store. At Goodwill Bins, I got a lot of stuff for the total of $7.60, I believe. And then at the store, I bought one pair of pants for $3 and like some change. So I'm just gonna show you guys the items that I have. Also also, I did flip some of them and I do plan to flip some more so I'm gonna show you guys like the before and after comparison of thrift flips and you guys can also let me know if you guys want to see thrift flip videos more often from me because I could definitely do that I have so much stuff that I sew and turn into other things also if you're interested in purchasing anything that I make I am going to be selling my clothes on Depop so you can look at my Depop shop I'll have it on the screen in the name my business is called Egypt's touch and I rework secondhand items so if you're interested in shopping sustainably supporting a small business or just you know having an item that's one of one then definitely check that out selfless shame pro selfless self promo <laughs> no no wait shameless self promo there we go now let's get into the stuff that i got so i guess i should start with the stuff that i made that i flipped so first things first is this shrug that i made this was originally a scarf and i connected it to make it into a shrug which is basically like sleeves that you can add to oh my to your clothes and i really loved the plaid print on here it reminds me of burberry that's why i picked up this scarf and i got it from goodwill bins at goodwill bins they weigh everything and you pay per pound and obviously this is mesh so it weighs nothing and it's also so perfect for the summer and it goes along with all the summer trends which i went over in this video so watch that if you haven't but yeah this is cute and i love this and it's super easy so let me know if you guys want to see a video on how to make this i'm gonna post a video on TikTok because I'm pretty sure I recorded on my phone when I was making this so just let me know if y'all want to see that the next thing that I did that was also super easy is I made a skirt into a dress originally this was a skirt and it didn't have the shape I added the shape into it to fit my body and to flatter my body more but I really loved like this crushed silk type of thing that it had going on and I thought it was so pretty this is the original brand of the skirt Okay, this is focuses we're gonna get. It says per. I really don't know what it says actually. I added some shape into it. I cinched the waist in. I also took some fabric from the top so that it's more fitted on me. And yeah, I kept the original hemline because I thought it was super pretty already. And I made it into a dress. I feel like this would be really cute with the shrug for like a preppy fancy moment, but this is gonna be a perfect dress. It's so delicate and flowy. And I love the way that it fits. Like even though it's not skin tight, the way that the fabric just falls and lays on my body, it just essentially my shape like this. The next thing I made is this two-piece set. I used a camo tank top that I found at the bins and I turned it into a little pair of shorts and I added the little button detail that was at the top of the tank top and I just sewed it onto the shorts. It's not really a functional button, but it's a really cute detail that I just had to do. And I added an elastic band into the top so that it fits my waist a bit better. And I did a different method than I usually do. Like I sewed the elastic into the top 
top and then I folded it down and just sewed like little darts on each seam so that it stays in place. And now I have like a little pair of shorts. And I also had enough fabric to make a top. So that's exactly what I did. I made this like asymmetrical one shoulder little crop top and I added some of the overlock stitch as a detail. So it makes it kind of look like it's inside out. But that's how it's supposed to be, which I love doing on my clothes. I feel like that's one of my signature things to do is to put an overlock stitch around things. This is gonna be something super casual and cute, especially for the summer. I feel like it's really nice and I could sell something like this, but I kind of like it. And that's my problem. Like a lot of times I don't want to sell the stuff that I make because I like it. And I have an attachment to it because I made it, but it's okay. Another example of like my signature overlock stitch thing that I do and also another signature piece that I make is a halter graphic top. So I made this out of a graphic t-shirt and I didn't really waste any pieces of the t-shirt, maybe other than the sleeves because I cut it off, but this is all of the t-shirt. I made the strap super long on this one because I never do, but I don't know how much I like how long the, <laughs> the straps are. I feel like it's very dramatic. And then I have this miss me these were a pair of jeans that someone cut into shorts but they cut it unevenly um so one side of the shorts was shorter than the other and then it also had like a rip right here so i decided that okay i could just probably make it into a mini skirt but i didn't finish i only cut it and pinned it flat but i didn't finish actually making the skirt because i was still trying to think if i wanted to add fabric to the bottom or if i just wanted it to be a super tiny skirt you know but this one i'm definitely gonna sell just because it's a size 30 waist and it doesn't really fit me so I'm gonna sell it and I feel like it will be something super cute and something that somebody would definitely love if they're a size 30 so yeah I thought this was definitely a score even with the damage I knew it could be something super cute like this has so much potential and it already is cute you know I just haven't sewed it yet and I'm gonna also like add some type of denim fabric or something to the bottom to make to even it out but yeah that's what I'm doing with that I got it at the bin, so it was like nothing. Like I said, I paid $7. And I still have more stuff from the bin. So that's pretty much all the things that I've made that I plan to make. Oh wait, no it's not, I lied. With this little skirt, I do want it as a skirt because I like the lace trim on the bottom and the little slit, but it's too big for me and it's also too long for my liking. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to make it into a two piece set or just make it into a skirt that fits me how I want it to fit me. So I just didn't do anything to yet because I didn't decide what I want to do. And with this one, I think I'm gonna make a, um, a whole video of me turning this jersey into a skirt because I've done it a couple times. It blew up on TikTok. I did it when I first started sewing and then I did it again not too long ago and it blew up. So I'm definitely gonna do like a full in-depth video of how I do that. And I'm just gonna use this one cause I found it at the bins and I thought it was cute. It's like a Looney Tunes Tokyo jersey and it says Japan and it has Tweety Bird on it and him, whoever that is. On the back, the colors are really pretty. It has like this light pink and this light blue color. I'm gonna try to use this for that video, stay tuned. And now I'm gonna get into the stuff that I'm not altering. I'm just, you know, I'm just bought it, you know. First things first is this is a really, really pretty cardigan. It's like fishnet crochet, but what's really pretty about it is all these pearls. The pearl detail on here is so pretty and I know someone took their time to like sew all these little pearls into this fabric and I just appreciate that so much I thought the details were so cool it even has like these cool little details along the sleeve and along the trim of the cardigan on the back it doesn't have any pearls but it does have pearls along the trim which I think is so beautiful like come on this is so beautiful all these pearls I'm probably gonna wear this with like really cropped tops just as a cover-up kind of and I would definitely wear this to the beach as well. The next top I got which doesn't fit me how I expected it to fit me so I'm probably gonna put this on my Depop but it's this little ruffle top. I think it's really really pretty and I love the details on it but it doesn't fit me well. It's a size medium and it's the brand High Five? High Five maybe? 
So unfortunately, not my size and doesn't fit me well. So I'm gonna just put this up on my Depop because it's really cute, you know, nevertheless. I also got this silk scarf, which is so beautiful. I feel like this could be tied in so many ways as a top, as a head scarf, you know, whatever I really want it to be. And it's actually 100% silk, which is beautiful. And I'm not sure of the brand. It does have like a little signature. I feel like maybe this is like an art piece or something. I don't know. It's just really pretty and soft. Also got these satin pants, which I think will be perfect for the summer. They're very flowy. Very, very flowy pants and very bright. You know, if you know, you know, but I don't really gravitate towards bright colors often. So when I saw these and I liked them, I was like, hmm, this how is that for me? I think these are super cute and very versatile, you know, because this is statement in its own, so I could just wear it with plain things. And I have a lot of plain things, so. Yay, we're adding color in my wardrobe. This is the last thing that I found at Goodwill Pins. It's this American Eagle shirt. I liked it because it's fitted and long, and I love the walk knit things and all the little details on it were really cute it has little patches on it as well and something on the arm and the length and everything was just really nice it's a lightweight long sleeve which is appreciated and I also really enjoy this color so that's why I got it and then the thing that I purchased at the store were these camo pants and they were in the boys section which is why they were three dollars if I found this in the women's section it would probably be like six or seven dollars because goodwill prices are getting out of hand but luckily I fit children's clothes so I can get cheaper prices yeah all I got were these pants I actually don't have any camo pants like this. I have like the real tree kind, but no camo pants like this. And it's Wrangler brand, which is a really good, durable brand. So we love that. And I got it for $3. Can't really beat that. I mean, you can, honestly, by shopping at Goodwill Bins, but you know what I mean. But that was pretty much it, guys. It was a pretty short haul, but I think I got some really cool, unique pieces and I was able to make some cool things out of some of the stuff that I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed that aspect of the video. Let me know if you guys want to see thrift flip videos. And I am going to be posting sewing videos, but just let me know what you guys think about that. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will be my summer princess poly haul. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.